this is Mike Burke, and I'm with Charles Marshall, one of my veteran window tenor and paint protection installers at Sunstoppers. We got a call from a guy up here in Northern Virginia. We decided to come up here and help this guy. Uh, he partnered with Sunstoppers. He was doing window tinting, was not offering paint protection or ceramic coating, and wanted to scale his business, wanted to grow, and wanted to be part of a team. We put him on the website. Organically, after one week, we started to get Tesla leads in his area. And the Tesla leads are now wanting paint protection and ceramic coating. We sold this customer a full body stealth wrap and paint protection by Expel and a ceramic coating. I turned around and asked my teammates, one of my best installers, one of my most loyal guys, partner in Sunstoppers, Charles Marshall. He runs the Concord store and has record sales. He's an unbelievable guy. Like if you're an athlete, he's your starting quarterback that wins the Super Bowl. So he decided to come up here with me on a road trip, which I think he's probably gonna regret after two days of hanging out with me. Um, but we're gonna go support this guy and teach him how to do paint protection take care of the customer, and have some fun. So we're officially, I need you to take this one off. Let's, let's zoom in, right. let's zoom in. <laughs> right here, you see this? Okay. Welcome you to the team. Now there we're gonna we go. welcome you to the team. We brought lights, um, we brought soap, we bought bottles, and we've pre-cut the entire car with wrapped edges at our shop in Charlotte. Charles, myself, our new recruit, Chris from Maryland. This gentleman right here, Caleb, he's gonna get his hands dirty today with some paint protection. And tomorrow morning, you're gonna see a transformation of this car. So there's a little bit of a secret in paint protection. These little shirts right here, I don't know if you noticed that they have little yarn and fuzz. I don't know if you can zoom in. They have ketchup from lunch. Clear bra Chris told me that all my contamination came from my shirt. So I turned around and I asked Clear bra Chris when he travels, he has one suitcase, he wears the same shirt 20 days in a row. It's a great 50-50 cotton shirt, but I don't need, know if you can see this. See how these little cotton balls are kind of right here and they kind of pick and I don't know if you can see that, the little fuzz, see that fuzz right there? All these little yarn and little fuzzes, when you're doing window tinting and paint protection, mainly paint protection, you're gonna get hairs and lint balls that can bleed into the aggressiveness of the glue. So. One thing that these newer paint protection installers may not realize that the veterans have made a lot of mistakes and we're trying not to make the same mistakes. So when you're doing paint protection, there's, there's no way the adhesive in your shirt can contaminate the film. So if you guys are doing paint protection out there in the industry, your shirt does matter. That it's kind of sleek and, uh, and things can't stick to your shirt to get into the film. Now, I'd like to thank Clear Bra Chris for that suggestion. Yeah, I look like I'm going uh, to do some paint protection. Oh my God, it's so windy. Yeah. I almost lost a drone. This is kind of the stuff that we do here at Sunstoppers. We print stuff like this for you and mail it to you, like goodies every day coming in the mail. So basically all your paint protection installers. This is a window tinting shop that was a window tinting shop prior to meeting Sunstoppers. We're here mobily to support our newest dealer, Charles and I, to kind of do this car for him and educate Caleb here on how to do paint protection. All right, so in paint protection, there are many squeegees that you can use. Some of the best uh, paint protection installers in the world use these old school yellow turbos. They're great, they're awesome. But the newer school guys are using these pink squeegees. They're a little flexible. They have kind of a new little ergonomic design to them. They're kind of beveled. I don't know if you can see where they're kind of sleek, but also have like a brushed finish. I custom made this tool by Fusion. 
Uh, Fusion makes tools that are really good. I know all the guys there, they're awesome. And I saw some guys online using these, and then I turned around and kind of made it with similar handle because my hands kind of fit with two fingers and one finger in front. And when I'm squeegeeing, I feel like I have a lot of control on what I'm doing. It's got kind of a soft but hard flexible coating to where when I'm doing paint protection, it gets up in these little corners. I don't know if you can see right in here. So if you can check this out, see how this has like a little bit of a, an edge? So a lot of times if I'm trying to get stuff in here, it fits down on these edges a little bit easier for me. Uh, a lot of the other installers will use stuff like this. You can still get it down in here, but I feel like I don't have as much control. I want to feel and have control of what I'm doing. So it's not exactly which tool uh, is right or wrong, it's what works best for each installer. Uh, uh, the, the shirt that Eric sent you. Did Eric send you? That's what I think of Tesla, right here. Ugh! Ugh! That's what I think of electric cars! I'm just yeah, kidding. The consistency that I found traveling is that we just come in with spring water jugs, and then everywhere I go in the country, no matter what hardness the water is and what minerals, consistent. I'm consistent on my install. It, it's a night and day difference. When I, Are you I had this? issues, this is really I had crazy. issues last year, constant stuff popping up, popping up, and there's stuff want, not wanting to tap. I put a water filter system in my shop. The next day was a different day at work. Like, yeah, no problem. No, yeah, yeah window down. tent was cleaner. The paint protection was cleaner. Uh, a lot of guys use distilled water to flush the edges to give it a little bit more. I agree with me. I really don't trust this water. We're out of town. We're not in our stores with filtered water. So when we travel to do paint protection, we go to the store and we buy spring water. And uh, I like to make sure the water is consistent with the hardness, the minerals, the properties that are in the water makes a huge difference. So all I'm gonna do is uh, put some baby shampoo and water. I do like a little extra soap in my bottle. I'm not like most people. I use one bottle of uh, soapy water with an X on it. And this bottle is right here of water, alcohol. And what happens is when I'm tint, or I'm sorry, when I'm doing paint protection, I'll turn around and get it tacked in, and then I might lift a corner, spray water, alcohol in that corner, squeeze it down, and it makes it super aggressive. So I use, I'm a gunslinger. So I'm gonna use a two bottle solution. I got my big boy and my little boy. Big boy, and little boy. I'll roll. I'm just putting a wax down. Just oh, like distilled water? It eliminates the film from wanting to grab the surface so rapidly. So you got time to get it in position. Charles and I have been working together for about 20 years. He actually started with me at Sunstop, I mean, sorry, Lightning Mike's. When we first started, we were like two little crackheads tinting windows all day long. It'd be freaking Christmas Eve, 8 o'clock at night, tinting cars on the showroom floor at Lexus. <laughs> <laughs> He's been with me a long time, man. He's a beast. Yeah. Well, you notice what Charles did is he put a nice glaze on the paint to kind of prep the surface to give it a little bit of some sleekness. A lot of guys in the industry don't do this. They don't prep the surface to keep it sleek. They take all the sleek stuff off, okay? And then what happens when you're gripping the paint protection and it grips in the hood and you stretch it, you get stretch marks or silvering. Okay. And if you ever have to lift the material back off uh, to get something out, then you're all of a sudden you have more of a sleeker surface to pull it up and lift a uh, contamination out if you have a prep surface that's a little more sleekness. But right. you're gonna notice, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go prep the edges with alcohol. But uh, we do that basically to give it a little bit more of a sleeker property. And then we're gonna go around all the edges after we're done and prep the edges on the surface about a quarter of an inch and underneath the surfaces with rubbing alcohol. That rubbing alcohol is now going to give us more of a grippy surface. So if it's sleek, all through the hood and everywhere else, you really want it to grip really tight around the edges and then when we wrap the edges those edges really seal to the paint it's the end result that what matters but the way i like it is i like to go around and prep these edges and these edges and the bottom edges where the material is going to sit right there in that little lip those edges need what's called an edge prep some people use what's called an edge prep pin i don't like that it's a little aggressive i just take a little bit of alcohol i go through here and i basically rub the rag down here in that little crevice i don't see if you can see where it's wet 
All I'm doing is taking any contamination oils or solvents that are just in that paint and making it more of a flatter, more aggressive surfaces for the edges to stick. That's basically all I'm doing. Like a soapy water right here, okay? And the soapy water, see how the material kind of moves around? Yeah. And it kind of slides around? What I'll personally do is I'll put water alcohol right here on the edge. So if you see the water, see the alcohol water, then see the soap. So what happens is with the soap, I'm going to be able to get this material and slide it to right here to the edge. I don't know if you can see this edge right there. So it allows me to get the material right to the edge. And now when I want it to stick a little bit more aggressively, that water alcohol is now sitting here at the end. And this is a little harder to pull. So I like to pull up to that line. Because I notice this needs a little bit more stretch. See that stretch right here? Yep. Mm -hmm. I tacked, I worked down, got that down. I'm gonna work here, and then I'm gonna start slowly stretching it back that way. So <laughs> Soapy water runs off the car when you spray it on there. So by the time you go peel that, it's gone, it's dry. The gel's gonna stay there in place and not go anywhere. The blades kind of leave like a small like, impression around the edge where it cut through. That if you don't heat the edges, it's just gonna fill up with dirt. So if you catch it today, it's quick, easy, and in my opinion, it's the right way. Some guys will save it for the end, but when you spend two hours just heating edges, it's terrible. So in paint protection, the material is very thick, uh, not like regular wrap material, which is very thin. These little pointed corners, we like to V those corners, which is basically we relief the tension, stretch the tension down, so that way it hides like, right here yeah, and doesn't like, pucker because this kind of comes to a point. So we'll turn around and V it, make sure it flows in there, everything looks great. Newest sun stoppers. We came up here and wrapped paint protection stealth on this Model Y. He assisted us. He did a fantastic job for his first day doing paint protection. We'd like to thank him for having us up here and being part of the team. What did you think about the experience? It was a great experience. Like, like to thank you and your team. No for problem. Coming up here, helping out, giving us training. Uh, it's, it, you know, I don't know how much training we did. We kind of just came in, did the car, you helped, you assisted, you stretched, you squeegeed. I think we That's all played a participation on this car. That's right. The customer's going to be super happy. You can see it in the background. Charles is over here in the background. He's absolutely wiping it down, getting it ready for the customer. And we're going to do a toast to our new dealer and our Sun Stoppers glasses. Cheers, my Cheers. man. This wraps it up. Y'all have a great day. See you next time.